tonight is date night and we are taking you to one of our favorite restaurants in Nairobi and even though we dressed up, we are taking you in style with the vehicle that we had um, from the previous video, our Overlander. It's cool, it's fine. Okay, so we are actually in Bambino and the reason we are back, we've been here quite a few times before, we do really like it, but they have a brand new menu. So it was kind of a no-brainer that we had to come try it out. <laughs> also, they carry one of our favorite wines. Not very many places have a Chianti, and they have a Fontella Chianti. It's absolutely delicious. So Bambino is part of the food library, just like Inti and Botanica and Miso and a few more. We basically made videos about all of their establishment, except Slate, which we're going to do soon. Uh, but Bambino's is probably our favorite, very close with like Inti. So I'm very happy to be here. They just brought some focaccia bread that they make um, with the uh, wood oven pizza with some sauce. That's new too. That's oh, pretty good bread. Thank you very much. For the food, you yeah. need to break it. Then you find the surplus inside. I normally call it the surplus. Oh, I like that. So for our appetizers, they look stunning. Uh, the first one are potato crochet, maybe? Anyways, it's a basically a potato and mozzarella croquette. And then we got the intriguing looking pizza souffle. And it is huge. And apparently we just like kind of smash it open and then the pizza filling is inside. Let's try it out. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how to break this, but the, oh, okay, it's like hard, hard. <laughs> there we go. He said to like make it like a bowl and then mix it inside with, oh yeah, oh yeah. Cheese and pepperonis and stuff. Oh, that is good. It's like basically a pizza salad. I'm a fan. Okay, first bite of the pizza salad. You normally eat salad because it's something that's very healthy and everything. This is probably not it. Still the best salad I ever had though. And as much as it has pizza flavor, it's not heavy either, which is really nice. So the next one. This is gonna be super hot. That is good. Just like potato goodness. It's like fried mashed potato. Come on. That's so good. So as you can tell, it was very, very good, especially the pizza souffle, because it was so not what we kind of expected, Tracy and I, like, we thought that it was going to be like some sort of like pizza pocket or something like that, but that's like an elevated, fancy pizza pocket. That was so good. Okay, so for mine, I got some type of homemade Starts with an S pasta. I can't pronounce it properly. Um, it smells really good. And the noodles, you can tell they're homemade noodles. That is really good. It's got basil in there too. And it's like the perfect balance of it. Yum. Let me just prepare a bite. Oh. Don't even need a knife. So I got the beef shang and seems to be coming with some like risotto and osobuco as well. And according to our waiter, I think it's his favorite because he told me after eating that, we're gonna be back. He's right. You gotta try this, Trace. That is amazing. It just says very rich, but fantastic. So I didn't eat all of my main because I really wanted to try a dessert. There's one that looks really good, but we're sharing and I know David doesn't like coffee. So if you're here, try it out for me. It's called the Af Afogato Al Cafe. So 
So for dessert, we have the Nutella ricotta mousse. See? I don't think I got all the way down, but. Mmm. That's really good. So even though I'm not a dessert person, you might not know, but I'm actually a mousse expert. And that's a good mousse. Mousses? Mousses? Mousse? Mousse in general are kind of my favorite dessert. Mm. First of all, let me let me start by saying like I'm not sure why they changed their menu because the, the original menu was super good. Yeah, we all like had good yeah. luck even when we brought people. There's it, no issues. And it's like... not like it's an all restaurant either. That being said, yeah, the, the, the new menu is also very it's fantastic. Good. <laughs> like, I think even with the old menu, the appetizers always stood out. The mains were fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but they're just the appetizers are just a little bit more different. Yeah, original. Um, yeah, like the pizza souffle that we had this time around was fantastic. I do have to say, I didn't see the mozzarella, deep fried mozzarella ball on the menu. That was on a previous menu and it was so good. That was our favorite. Yeah. Anyways, still really, really good. Um, we still have to try their pizzas because we assumed, I assumed the pizzas yeah. were the same, but apparently they switched them. Yeah, but the, 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 the I mean, the pizza are kind of like, even though like the toppings are different, yeah. it's kind of like the same thing. That's why we decided to try something else we tonight. Always get pizza but they only. still have that good like, true like uh, wood oven pizza and yeah. everything so like we know the pizza is good here and i don't think we've ever gotten dessert here this is the second time the first yeah. time i don't know what we got anyways <laughs> this one was very good yeah <laughs> otherwise like pricing is very similar to the previous oh, menu yeah. my my beef was about 2700 uh, Kenyan shillings your pasta were like 16 yeah my I pasta think. was decent price to um, be the dessert was a thousand wine Wine is a little bit expensive, yeah. 1500 uh, per, glass. per glass, so get a bottle, it's cheaper. Sure, <laughs> but we are trying to be good. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, overall, like great experience. Like I love the look of this restaurant. Yeah. It's in Westland, it's in a good location. Service is always great, yeah. food's always great. To me, I don't think you can go wrong with it. No, so up next, we're going to Slate, and until then, see you guys. <laughs> in the next one.